G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. And look, I've got a big canvas. I'm gonna do a five flip cup pour for you today. Now, the inspiration for this pour is from a lady on my Facebook group called Julie McDonald. Great name, Julie. Hi, Julie. <laughs> um, I really loved her piece that she put up. Um, it was kind of purpley and gray and a splash of yellow. Loved it. And she did balloon dips on hers as well. So I said to Julie, do you mind if I try to do my own? And she said, that would be fine. So I've changed up a little bit. I've got an extra color. She used bronze. Um, I'm using magenta just for a little extra pop of color. Oops, I just flew in my cup. And um, I actually don't know what pouring medium she used, but I'm using my usual, my 60% glue and 40% water. Um, I've mixed the paints one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. And then I just added this little splash of Liquitex pouring medium just to see if it'll act as a binder. I'm just checking. Checking, checking. Make sure they're all the right consistency a little mound on a mound I just added a little splash of water to this magenta it's thickened up just felt thicker than the others hopefully it's okay now little mound on a mound not as big a mound on a mound as I would normally have Uh, let's count one two the trace is gone in two seconds so a little bit thinner right uh, the, the paint is the Montmartre that's the magenta I'm not going to show you all the colors uh, that's the medium yellow that's that one and that's the magenta that one is purple with a little bit of black to darken it the grayish color the blue gray I made myself um, blues, blacks, white, trying to get to blue gray. And this one, same thing. Um, I tried to match it like a Payne's gray. I don't have a Payne's gray, so I kind of just had to make it up as I went along. Um, phthalo blue, black, white, tiny bit of purple because it was throwing too much blue. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, now, spot on treadmill silicone. I've got. 90 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint, that's 150. I'm going to do four drops, I think, in each of my spot on treadmill silicone oil. Whoops, I think you got five. Oh. You've got to be careful not to squeeze it, otherwise, you get a whole heap of drops coming out in one. So just let it fall in on its own, don't squeeze. Okay, that's four. Hopefully that will be enough and let's mix it really, really well. Now, if you want to fast forward, now would be the time to do it because I'm just going to stir in silicone oil and I'm going to layer my cup. So it's going to take a few minutes. So if you're in a hurry, uh, now would be a good time to fast forward because you won't miss anything. Uh, and then you can come back to me when I'm, I flip my cups over. As that sound for a plan? I could just fast forward, couldn't I? And then you miss that. But, oh well. I'm doing this for me too. I want to try and enjoy it. So enjoy the process. So bear with me. I won't take too much of your time. Um, now a lot of people have been saying that they're not getting notifications anymore and they're kind of making it sound as if it's my fault. It's not my fault. It's YouTube. They've done something. I don't know. A lot of people aren't getting notifications anymore. So what you need to do to correct that is just go back into YouTube uh, to the people that you have subscribed to on their channel and just click the little notification bell again and select all and that should reset it because it's, hap it's been happening for months. 
Um, a lot of people have been affected by it, me included. I've had to do that to my favourite YouTubers. Go in and resubscribe and uh, re-select all so that I can get the notifications again. So I don't know what happened. I don't know why, why it's an issue, but it happens. Now, I've gone the white and then the yellow and then the magenta because I want like a bit of an orangey shade and I think the yellow and the magenta together might give me that kind of orangey shade, hopefully. Um, and then the darker purple and then the light grey and the dark grey. And then back to the white again. I stirred them, didn't I? Didn't I? I think so. I hope so. Did I? Oh, I can't remember now. You guys will tell me. I hope I did. Look, it's, you know when you leave the house and you close your garage door and then you get down the road and you go, oh, did I close the garage door? It's just something that you do without even thinking about it, isn't it? So I hope I did. I actually can't remember stirring them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, here we go. And the white again. I'll have to look back on my video and see if I actually did it. Pour a little cup on the end, gets the dregs again. Not enough. Not enough paint. I should start down that end halfway through so it catches up. You got me worried now. I don't know if I've stirred my silicone oil in. Alright, we'll start at this end. That's better, isn't it? Try and even them out a little bit. Hopefully this will be pretty. I think when Julie did hers, she used maybe Liquitex Basics. I, I don't know what brand she used, but from the sound of some of the colors, I would assume they're Liquitex. Liquitex Basics to me is not an easy paint to work with. Um, like you, you make it the same consistency as the Montmartre, but then it comes out really, really thin, like the cells really, really stretch. I don't know why. So then I have to make it thicker than what I would normally use. Um, and then you just got to be really careful because sometimes it's too thick and the cells don't get the beautiful rings around them. They're just kind of fuzzy or blurry if, if it's too thick. So yeah, I haven't, I haven't worked with Liquitex Basics a lot. It's quite expensive here in Australia to buy. So I kind of stick to what I know works. Nearly done, guys. Nearly done. Thanks for your patience. Hope I'm not shaking the table. Someone complained the other day that I was, the, the camera was shaking. Like, you know, if, if I was a professional, I was doing professional videos and you guys were paying for them, yeah, I'd be worried about the table shaking, but... Seriously, you're getting free tutorial, free education, and all you can do is complain about the table shaking, which makes, you know, because my tripod's sitting just there. So if I shake the table, my tripod shakes, which means my camera shakes. So that's why it might shake sometimes. If I move the table, and I've got it up on top of the table to give you a, a good view rather than have it on the floor behind the table because I just can't get as close. I mean, I guess I could try that. Then I wouldn't have any shaking. Maybe I can try that. My tripod did nearly fall into one of my resin projects once because it was on the table. 
I caught it just in time. Got my heart racing, that did. Okay, let's do this. Now, the table is going to shake. And the camera is going to shake, so bear with me. While that happens, there you go. Nobody's too stressed out about the table shaking. <laughs> Yay! I'm concerned about my silicone now. I can't remember if I stirred it in or not. Oh my gosh. Now, because this is a slightly thinner mix, I did not spray my cups with silicone spray like I do sometimes. I hope it's not going to be too dark. Oh well, we shall see. Here we go, Julie. Wish me luck. Cross fingers. I hope I can do your paw justice. Right, here we go. Flip and drag. Uh, some paint on the corners. Don't use that again. It's got muddiness in it. This one's got a lot more magenta in it. Aren't they different? Each one's different. That one's got more navy in it or Payne's grey in it. That one's got more purple in it. Did that run off the side? Come back. Right, I'm just going to put these little bits of extras on my corners. Probably going to get tipped off anyway. There's really not much left at all because it's um, such a thin mix. I should have a little bit more brightness over here. I don't know where all my yellow's gone. It seems to be lighter there and then getting darker and darker. <gasps> Weird. Okay, let me wipe my hands. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to get a wriggle on. I'm going to cover this real quick and then I'm going to torch just because my mix is thinner. So bear with me. Just going to cover this. Over we go. This will be the fastest pour I've ever done. Whoa, I just spun paint right off the table. Just because it's a thinner mix, um, I can get away with doing this. Get a little bit of that off there. Okay, come back. Okay, how quick was that? All right. It looks like there's something unmixed in there. Let me pick. Oh, look, I've got paint on the floor. Let me get that. When I spun my canvas around, I got paint on the floor. Okay, now torch. And I did it that way because my mix is thinner. See how, oh, I'll do this and I'll talk to you. Um, now, not too close, Julie. Let me concentrate on this. Because my mix is so much thinner, it's a one and a half to one instead of the normal one to one that I use. Um, the cells pretty much pop up straight away. Um, and then you can get away with torching afterwards. So if you're, if you're the sort of person who likes cells but has trouble, you know, when you're tilting that you overstretch them, this, this is a good option. Uh, make your mix a little bit thinner. And um, <laughs> I can't talk and torch at the same time. And then cover your whole surface. And your cells, as you can see, they're bigger when they come up because the mix is thinner. So when they pop up, they can spread more. There's less resistance on them. Okay, how's that looking? Oh, that's looking very nice. We're getting beautiful colors coming through. I'm gonna leave it like that and just see what happens. I'll let them grow on their own. Didn't need my corner catcher at all that I got out. Um, I just find that um, if you're doing this technique where you're using a, a thinner mix, once you flip those cups over, you've got to go for it before your cells start to grow. Because once they start to grow, like that big white one there, 
See, there's a few there that have, you know, as soon as the as soon as I flip the cups over, they're there. They're going, "Hi, I'm here. It's party." Um, and so you don't want too many big ones popping up. So just straight away, get the whole surface covered. Um, and then you can torch and bring your cells up. And see, they're, they're a decent size, but um, already, but you can tilt a little bit more. And by tilting a little bit more, you don't run the risk of overstretching them. I do like those colours. <laughs> I don't know how much it is like Julie's, but I don't know. <laughs> Well, mine's got the magenta in there, so I've got that little extra pop of brightness, I guess. Now, really don't like you, but that's okay. I'm going to balloon you. Yes, I am. You are. Your num. Your days are numbered. Right. Now, really carefully. I'm just going to see if I can get some of these cells. To go bigger now the ones that i, I prefer this side because it's much brighter so i might, might go this way see if i can get some of those cells off don't get my shirt covered in paint although now that i look at that that's really nice and bright oh i don't know there's just a cluster up here that i need to sort of stretch out so this is where i'm going to go slow i'm just going to I wonder if I can get some more of that off. Breathe, Julie, breathe. I forget to breathe sometimes when I'm doing this. All right, and go all the way down there. Now this is really tricky, but just go slow. You can keep an eye on what's going up here. So I'm wriggling my thumb, keeping an eye on what's going on up there. Come back. That was just a little bit taken off. I don't think I'll be able to get that big white blob off. That was a little bit too far to go. But as I said, I'll, I'll balloon it. But see how these have all grown now? All right, let's just walk, walk, walk. Again, keeping an eye on what's happening at the top closest to me. So don't want to overstretch them back while you've got the flow of that paint. Come back. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, now these ones here, these yellow cells, see how big they're getting? And over here, these are still quite small. So I can't move the paint more this way towards me because these are just going to get bigger. So I'm actually just going to move the paint back towards you and try and open these up a little bit more and that's making those little yellow those big yellow ones down the bottom there get a little bit smaller to match the ones at the top and I think that's going to be about it See, when you've got a cell half on and half off, they're always going to be elongated. There's not much you can do about that. All right. Love it. Love it, love it. Now, I have to leave this for... Oh, what's the time? It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm probably going to have to come back, like, after dinner tonight and uh, balloon dip. Because if I do it now, it's not going to work because there's too much paint on there. Um, it's just going to... Like when I balloon dip, it's going to make like a, a big point of, of the um, the paint and it's just going to go slosh back down again. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, I will bring you down for a bit of a close-up. I'll just clean up these edges again down the bottom. I'll take you down for a close-up. Uh, and then I'll have to put it somewhere safe till, um, till this evening. I'll give it about six hours, I would think. I'll check it in six hours anyway and see how it's going. I may have to even wait longer. I don't know. Someone's ringing me. There we go. Cancel. 
All right, let's have a little look. It does look as if it's sort of darker up here and then it gets lighter up there. Let me turn my ring light off, see if that's any better. There's a fly. Now that blue gray, it's quite dominant. Oh, look at the orangey shades I'm getting. That's what I wanted with the yellow and the magenta. That blue gray is quite dominant. I'm hoping that when I balloon dip into some of that, that will get some bright colors underneath. And look at those multicolored, so pretty. It doesn't look quite as bright through my screen, but oops, get your thumb out of the way, out of the screen. Lots of different colors. It's a bit of a caterpillar there. Might get a couple of different sized balloons to do my my dipping. And there we've got some shades of the that was the the grey blue with the Payne's grey there. It's worked really nicely. Yes, you, 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 you're gonna get balloon dipped. Really pretty. So there we go, there she is in all her glory. Um, until later, and um, I'll be back with the balloon. So we'll see you then. Clean up my mess and I might even do another resin project. So see you soon. Don't go anywhere. Radio, I'm back. I got a little teeny weeny balloon and a bigger balloon. So I've had a little practice over here, just waiting to see if um, the paint had set up enough. Something in there. Um, it's pretty close. I don't really want to leave it too long because then it kind of gets dry. Um, it's probably only been um, maybe three hours. But, um, ooh, you're not touching there, are you? No. All right. So, um, over here, see those areas there and there? There's no cells there to become petals, so you just get little starbursts in there. So try and pick an area like that, for instance, that's empty, but that's got cells around it, because the balloon will pull all those cells in to make petals. I'm only going to sort of do areas that I particularly don't like. <clears throat> Although in saying that, there's not many areas I don't like. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, I probably didn't have to balloon dip it, but because I wanted to take ex um, inspiration from Julia McDonnell, uh, she balloon dipped her. So I'm going to two just to see. Um, I think I, if, if I do it again, I won't put the magenta in. I, I don't like how bright it is. Um, and I'd also tone down the yellow, make it more of a Nap um, Naples yellow. So I would like to go again and try with those two differences. I'm trying to think where I don't want, where I want to put this. Okay, so there's there's a bit of a, <clears throat> like a blobby area just there. There's a big cell, there's a big blob there. And there's actually a bit of unmixed paint in there. So I'm going to go, I'm going to pull this petal, this cell, make it a petal. And that one and from there so I'm going to kind of go in in the middle there with the bigger one so just push down slowly pull up <laughs> see the big cell the big cells sort of <clears throat> made a big petal so probably wasn't an ideal one to do but you can go over it again if you think oh I want to add these cells in here you can go again just wipe your balloon off and maybe push a little bit harder. Come up slowly. Still quite a lot of paint, see that? Probably should have left it a bit longer, but that's incorporated that yellow cell there. I'm gonna go and do what I want to do. I can always come back and take off a little bit more of that paint. I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess that's the middle, so the, the paint's kind of pulling, pooling in the center. All right, there's a little robot dude just there so let's go in the middle of that little robot dude so that little rectangle 
kind of cell there. We'll go right in the middle of him and hopefully we'll be able to pull some nice cells in. See, that's a good one. Yay, that's a good one. <clears throat> Again, it's got a puddle in the middle that is sitting there still. So I'll need to go over that one again. Um, and then I've got a bigger balloon as well. I don't know if I'll, I'll, if I'll use the bigger balloon because it's not a huge canvas. So you kind of decide if you want big ones or little ones. And you have to sort of space them around. Don't just put them all in one corner. Right. Um, now, let's do a little... No. I don't like this area here very much. But again, there's only that cell that can be pulled in and that cell that can be pulled in. So there's not going to be... Unless I leave those and just like go in the middle of like an area that's got lots of cells, I could do that. It's just... Oh, I don't know. They're all pretty. I'm going to go over here. There was no cell over there. So I don't have any petals there. All right, so we've got one, two, three there. Need something over here. See all those little caterpillars there? Let's see what the little balloon does, hey? You can always make it bigger. Oh, that paint's really moving. That's okay. It's kind of flowed back out again with the little balloon, so maybe I'll do some more with the little guy. Because he's quite cute, isn't he? Go over here, because there's a lot of grey just there. Let's see if we can get some colour coming through underneath. No, just more grey. All right, let's go bigger. Got a little bit of orangey colours coming up through there. Let's be careful not to overdo it with my balloons. That one's got too much paint left in it. Still got too much paint. <clears throat> I could probably take that out. There's a big blob of paint there. It's unmixed paint. Just wiping my balloon over on my little puppy piddle pad here. And then go again just to Smooth that off. Okay, that looks better. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Looks better. So, yeah, you may have to go over a few times just to, you know, reduce the amount of paint that's sitting in the middle there. You'll know when you've done enough. You'll be able to see the difference. <laughs> I incorporated that cell there so that's looking really pretty so just keep going um, if you're doing this just keep going I think I actually like them all the same sort of size with this medium balloon he's pretty cute I'll leave him not getting much in the way of cells around that one right where else do I need to go um, 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 um. All right, how about in this corner here? That, that one there can be the middle and then I'll incorporate those cells around it. Oh, look at the pale yellow coming through. That's nice. And again, just to reduce the amount of paint. There we go. All right, so we've sort of got one there, there. We can go in the middle of that that area and uh, like I said you, you might have to go a few times or you could just wait until your paint thickens up a little bit more otherwise you've got to keep going and going and going um, and you do run the risk of it maybe getting a little bit muddy I'm impatient you guys know me I'm impatient <laughs> Right, let's do my uh, let's do my little balloon. Where's the little one? He's feeling left out, just over here. He doesn't leave too much of a run back, actually, the little guy. Where else can we do a little one? 
in here. So I've got quite a lot of cells just there. That's pretty, isn't it? Just reduce that amount of paint there. How's it looking? Is it pretty? Okay, now we've got there, 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 there. There's not much across there. So let me go around the back of the canvas. Um, and we might just go right in the middle of this. Hopefully we can get some nice bright yellow coming through. Now I want to try and incorporate that cell there. See that yellow one there? So let's push a little bit harder. Did I get it? Yep. <laughs> it's going to go a few times just to get the shape that I want, the colours that I want. There we go. How's it looking? All right, now it, I think it just needs sort of one more just about there. And then I think we'll be pretty good. I'm just going to go with my little one again just to reduce some of that paint. The other thing you can do, like see this one here, it's got a lot of grey in it. What you can do is you can take that, which has got a lot of paint on it, and then put it like onto that one. Although it was a different size, so that's not really working. But I'll go again with the, the bigger balloon and try and incorporate some more cells. Oh, that's better. Reducing some of that paint as well. Just got to be careful that you don't do, don't take too much paint off. And then you'll end up with bald patches. So I'm just going over them all again just to remove some paint and then I wipe it off onto my puppy piddle pad and that's removing that paint. Let's see if I can make that one a little bit bigger to incorporate that cell from around there which I did and over there. into that corner love those those are amazing those ones there's lots of cells around that one you see that's why it's so good all right uh, where do I need to go next just need to make that one a little bit bigger I was trying to get that cell there see that one there I'm trying to get that one Right, can't do much with him. Um, I guess if you particularly wanted to, you could put like a blob of yellow paint there and then when you put the balloon in, it would drag that blob down and make it look like a, a petal. Um, right. I, that little one there, I think it could be better. I'm just going to put a slightly bigger balloon onto that one. And then one in the middle here, and then I'm going to be done. Call that Dunskies. Got to know when to stop. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. As our Kenny Rogers would say. Just keep on going, reducing some of this paint. Okay, how's that looking? I think I'm pretty much done, you guys. That one's getting a bit bald there now. now over here, I'm going to go with the bigger balloon. Just on that one, because I want those. But then this one, I'm missing that edge there. So I'm going to go with the bigger one. Let's see if we can get some more. There we go. How's that? That's kind of just picked up these ones here and there. Actually, because there's a big one there, I might do this as a bigger one too and try and pick up that cell there. Did I get it? 
Yep. I did. I'm running out of room to wipe my balloon on. Finding the bigger balloons working better for me. Just got to be careful I don't overdo it now. You're all yelling at me. Stop! Right, I'm done now. I am done. Right, let me fold this over. I'm not going to do any more. I think I've taken enough paint off the surface. So I'm going to fold that mess over and I'll take you down for a close up see what you think what do you reckon do you love it got some extra colors coming through haven't we look at the colors that come through that's the good thing about the balloon it brings the colors up from underneath around the back here this one's more gray and you can see there on the left uh, how there weren't any cells there so there's no petals so just remember that when you are thinking about where to dip your balloon try and get it in the middle of some cells so that the balloon pulls those cells down um, and creates the petal so there we go. What do you think? Hope you like it. Hope you've enjoyed that little video. Um, and hopefully I've done Julie McDonald proud. <laughs> what do you think, Julie? Do you like it? It's a bit brighter than yours. I, I prefer yours. Yours were more muted colors. I'm going to go again. And as I said, I'm going to take the magenta out and maybe turn down my yellow. I thought maybe I'd take the blue gray out and just put normal gray just have a little play with it um, yeah my my dark my, my violet there there's not a lot of it so there's a bit there a mm, little tiny bit there but yeah there's not a lot of it it's kind of vanished so I'm sure I'll have another go at some stage <laughs> all right thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed the video now don't forget to hit that little um, subscribe button just to reset everything on YouTube because it's kind of lost the plot a bit. All right, see you real soon. Bye for now.